Suri Ramasuri, chief executive of Content for South Sea, and Odette Schregler, producer of Hangman, and they're here to share more. Welcome to Morning Live, ladies. Good morning. So let me start with you. Now, with the success of a, another project that you were behind called Breaking the Net, what did you have in mind with this new format and this way of consuming reality TV? Um, going back to South Sea um, as an organization and what we believe in and our strategic objectives, we've always been at the cutting edge of technology and innovation. Um, launching uh, Break the Net was our first in the world unscripted reality show and based on that re resounding success we worked very closely with Blink our production team in terms of looking at what is the next big reality show that we focus on and in line with the innovation that's where Hangman was born um, looking at the South African market and saying how do we give South Africans in South Africa a platform to bring forth their ideas and be able to innovate. All right. Uh, Ode, tell us about Hangman um, and what makes it uh, work specifically on this online platform. Okay, so um, a Hangman on the face of it, you, you could compare it to most reality shows. It's a competition to find a particularly talented person. So unlike Idols where you find a singer, here we're looking for an innovator. But what makes Hangman different to anything else that is currently in the reality space is that it engages viewers like they've never been engaged before. So there's the show, but that's only a sort of a stop on the journey of your entertainment um, uh, experience. So there's an app in which you can consume all sorts of extra video content behind the scenes, etc., etc. But most importantly, on that app is a virtual stock exchange. So the contestants in the show, their companies will be listed on this exchange. And as a viewer, you can invest in the contestants you, you want to see go forward and the backers decisions will be partly based on the performance of the contestants on the stock exchange so so that's actually entertainment 24 7 yes mm -hmm. and you're so invested in it <laughs> it is you're invested yeah. significantly now Odette uh, uh, this is about innovation mm -hmm. and uh, unlike a singing competition it's whether one person can perform or sing better than the next how do you then pit innovations against each other how do you decide what is the criteria or that is used if there is a criteria to say this innovation is better because it is viable in the real world and it could be something else in 10 years from now. Well fortunately we have backers who are kings and queens of, of industry who will be making those decisions and they know how to, to identify talent, they know what the gaps in the market are and they're also going to be looking for people who show true grit. I mean it's called hangman for a reason and that's because in the world of innovation, in the world of entrepreneurship, really your, your lives and livelihoods hang in the balance so they are looking for people who have true grit as well as an innovation that's going to shape the future and um, you know we're very fortunate to have the likes of Bunang Mohale, uh, Mohale and Puti um, Mahaniele and um, Quentin van der Berg as you mentioned and also Dr. Iraj Abedin as backers and these really are some of South Africa's foremost business people. All right ladies that is where I have to leave it unfortunately out of time but thank you very much to Siri Ramasuri uh, Chief Executive of Content for South Sea and of course Odette Schregler the producer of Hangman. Now, the unique fast-paced online reality show aims to discover innovative young people. You certainly want to jump on this one. Well, I'm going to say goodbye to you. I'll see you again tomorrow, but I hand you over to Sims, who's ready to say his goodbyes. Oh.